Hello, Terrence Parr here. I thought I would give you a video to describe how the Antler plugin works for the IntelliJ or JetBrains platforms. So here I'm starting out, uh, got a basic grammar from uh, JSON that I'll put in here and I'm just gonna show that it, um, the plugin will handle anything with a .g4 file, will register as a grammar and it will do you know the basic syntax highlighting and error checking, things like that. If I put extra symbols there, you get the usual syntax highlighting. Okay, the next thing to take a look at is this navigation window here. So the, the structure tab shows uh, either a sorted version of the names or them separated by group. And you can also sort within those groups, things like that. So this is a grammar that's got both parser rules and lexer rules built into it. So once I have a, a rule, I can uh, look at the definitions of it or references to it. And in this case, there's only one set here. Um, I can jump to the definition. If I'm here, I can jump to the def or here, jump to the def, things like that. That's quite useful. And the other thing you might want to do is rename these. So you can say instead of value, you can call it uh, val and hit return. And then it will do the rename for you. And of course, you can undo it. So you can also re rename tokens. So. I'm using the keystrokes for this, but you can use the uh, right click and refactor and rename if you want to do it the long, slow way. All right, so let's say we want to break this out into a rule. We can do some refactoring. So I'll say refactor extract rule, and I'll call this some new rule. And um, it gives it replaces what was there with a rule reference, and then there's a new rule down here, as you can see. And we can undo that. Uh, let's see, you can collapse the rule. You can select and then do option or meta or alt or whatever it is, slash, and it will comment it out as you've come to expect in code editors. The other thing you might expect is auto completion. So if I'm here, I can hit control space and it'll fill out, you know, whatever these are. Uh, so if I have the same thing with a rule name, I can select from the appropriate rule name. So some of you are using this without a build system and you might want to generate the parser from the grammar in a particular language. So you can set, you can configure Antler, you can put in here, say Python 3 or Java or whatever you want to do. Um, I'll change this back to the default, which is Java. And then I can say, uh, generate Antler recognizer. Well, first thing I'll do is I'll show you in that sample directory, I've got the grammar file and the IntelliJ stuff. And then when I tell it to generate, I get a gen directory and it's got all the sorted goodies in there. And you can change that directory to whatever you want. So I start with grammar T and then obviously I'm gonna start with some kind of white space rule maybe for lexing. And you can hit command or option, I don't know, meta, whatever your special thing is in J and it gives you these live templates. So for example, I will say, well, I'm gonna create an identifier rule. I'll leave it as ID. Um, let's see, I might also want a comment rule. Uh, yeah, it'll look like this. And then I might want a white space rule and I'll leave it like that. Okay, so that gives me some basic lexical elements. Yeah, I probably want integers as well. Um, so then I might have, uh, you know, an expression language and an expression is an ID or an int, something like that. And so this gives me quick ability to generate a grammar using you know common constructs. Now, of course, this is just editing. What we really wanna be able to do is test out the grammar and that sort of thing. And I'm gonna do that in uh, a part two video. 